Hola a todos! Welcome back to Spanish with Patri! How do we order coffee in Spain? Coffee, very popular drink. Loads of people want to have it when they go to Spain, when they go to South America. Oh, I've had coffee in Colombia. It's amazing! So let's do this. Vamos! Right, let's start with a shot of espresso. How would you order that? You would just say, café solo. Simple as that. Café solo. Only coffee. Café solo. This is the most popular way to prepare coffee, actually. Stronger flavor in small amount of coffee. Hola, buenas. Un café solo, por favor. Simple as that. Okay, what if you want two shots of espresso? You want a café doble. 50-50, 50% milk, 50% coffee, you want café con leche. Café con leche, which is not the same as a latte actually. Latte has a bit more milk and a bit of is topped with foam on the top. We are moving on to 75% coffee, 25% milk. Café cortado, or you can just say un cortado. 50% coffee, 50% water, you want un americano. What if you're having coffee and condensed milk? You want to order café bonbon. Okay, let's go strong now. Coffee and whiskey or brandy. How would you call that? We call it, careful with the pronunciation, un carajillo. Carajillo, it's got that angry cat sound. <laughs> carajillo, I'm exaggerating, but yeah, it's got a bit of that. It's like a very strong H. Carajillo. Coffee and Baileys. Café con Baileys. Imagine it's summer, you want to order iced coffee, that coffee that cools you down. You want to order café del tiempo. We normally call it café del tiempo, but you can also say café con hielo, coffee with ice. Again, remember that the H is not there. It is there, but it's not there. We never pronounce the H. Café con hielo. In Spain, they would always give you café con hielo or café del tiempo in two different glasses. One has got the shot of espresso and the other one has got the ice cubes in it. Why do they do that? Well, just in case you want to add anything to the espresso before mixing it with the ice cubes, such as sugar, azúcar. You mix it first and then you pour it onto the ice cubes. If you want more ice, just say, más hielo, por favor. You don't want to have more caffeine in the day. You're going to order café descafeinado. Descafeinado de máquina. Un descafeinado de máquina. 75% milk, 25% coffee. That is called leche manchada, stained milk. And let's talk a little bit more about the leche. You might want to order your leche either steamed, really, really hot, leche caliente, or you might want to order leche fría, okay, cold milk. Or you might want to order something in the middle, neither cold nor hot just warm, leche templada, a mix of hot and cold. Before the top tip, if you're enjoying this, if you like the lessons, if you want to keep learning more, if you think that I'm giving you useful tips, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next lesson. Top tip. I'm terrible at drum. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, now. Top tip. So the most common way to serve coffee in Spain, it's a clear glass, more or less this size, with no handle on it. If you prefer a mug, a taza, you want to say una taza, por favor, or café en taza. They normally have really, really small ones. If you want a big one, you can ask taza grande. My dad always says that, café en taza grande. I hope that was very useful and nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Adiós.